Yesterday, my husband and I visited the Kigali Genocide Memorial. The fiery wrestle place for more than a quarter of a million men, women and children. Our guide, who had lost both his parents in the genocide against the Tutsi, spoke to us how, in the wake of those appalling, unfathomable events, the people of Rwanda have embraced peace and reconciliation. And he described, with gentleness and humility, how we all have a personal responsibility to fight the discrimination and the ideologies that lead to the destruction of others. It is in the same spirit of encouraging personal responsibility that I wish to speak to you today about a different evil that has led to the death of many thousands, violence against women and girls. The figures are shocking. Globally, nearly one in three women have been abused in their lifetime. In times of crisis, the numbers rise, as they have dramatically during the COVID pandemic. Across the Commonwealth, calls to the Domestic Violence Helpline have increased by up to 500% over the past two years. Whether we are aware of it or not, we all know someone who has endured sexual or domestic abuse. These stories are heartbreaking, but given the statistics I have just quoted, they are sadly not unusual. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here with one purpose, to find solutions. It is surely significant that every single member state has unanimously agreed to support the Commonwealth Says No More campaign and to implement initiatives to prevent domestic violence and sexual abuse. There is power in this alliance. In the strength of unity, we, the women and men of the Commonwealth, stand with victims and survivors who, despite the temptation to hide away in silence, speak up so others know they are not alone. Whether in Africa, Asia, Europe, the Pacific, the Caribbean or the Americas. In doing so, we have the opportunity to end gender-based violence and those laws and practices that discriminate against women. And each one of us must take personal responsibility not to let this opportunity be lost. Thank you, Your Highness, for that apt keynote address. I shall now introduce Thank you. 